Hey, what's up guys? It is Austin here. Welcome back to another uh, sports update video. I'm going to be doing some of these for big moves that happened in the offseason. My last video was a sports video. It was the uh, Cardinals offseason preview. I might do another one uh, because some news happened. So first, I have two news stories. I'm going to do one in this video and one in another video. But the one I'm focusing on this video happened yesterday because I'm recording this December 9th. This happened December 8th. The big name from Japanese, the Japanese player from Japan, who is a hitter and a pitcher, Shohei Otani, about a week ago decided what seven teams he's willing to go to. Six of them are West Coast teams. It consisted of the Dodgers, Giants, Padres, Mariners, Angels, Rangers, and Cubs, the only nine West Coast team. Shohei Otani picked the Angels yesterday. His deadline was the 21st, I believe. And he picked them on the 8th. So this is big. This is arguably the biggest name that's moved in the offseason. Um, other than Stanton, who was actually moved today. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video on that. But this kind of shocked me. A lot of people said it was going to be the Mariners. Because the Mariners are getting a lot of bo international bonus pool money. Uh, which is a big part of the D. Gordon tra trade. And then um, they also made a move with the Twins. They're basically getting a lot of international bonus pool money. For Otani, and they're going to have to use a lot of it on some other international pl players. So Otani picks the Angels, uh, which is interesting. He gets he's playing in LA, but most of the focus isn't in on the Angels as it is and the Dodgers. It's in Anaheim. It's still, you know, it's still a big market team, but it's interesting. Um, Otani, I don't know, man. It's kind of interesting. Now, I believe, I don't know if he's on this roster. Yeah, the car, the, the, not the Cardinals. The Angels also signed Kevin Maitan, Maitan, which is also interesting because, because of the whole uh, Braves situation. They had like 12 international free agents, and this is the biggest one that they lost. So the Angels' farm system just got a lot better with just these two players. Otani's now the number one prospect in baseball, um, and just, I don't know how he's going to be in real life. The game's just like, okay, we're going to give him an 82. But he wants to hit and pitch. He can throw uh, 100. Um, he can hit, which is what interests me. I heard that they might have to have Pujols play first base. Um, they might have Otani play right field if they trade Calhoun. Otani's probably going to end up DHing. I don't know what they're going to do with CJ Crone and Ben Revere and all those guys. Angels might have to make a lot of moves because they need a third baseman. They need a second baseman. They could use a starter. So maybe you'll see Calhoun traded. Maybe you'll see... Um, Crone traded, Revere, I don't know, you're probably going to see some moves by the Angels, because this kind of complicates things. Yes, so Tani's a huge name, but it does kind of complicate what the Angels have. But you have, when he when he hits, you have Upton, Trout, the best player in the world, um, Albert Pujols, and Shohei Otani. That's a dangerous lineup. I don't know how Otani will be, like I said. He only pitched 25 innings last year, which is kind of concerning for the pitching side of things. And I don't know how I feel about a two-way player like Otani. He can hit, but he can pitch. Don't know what the Angels plan on doing with him. I think I'm excited. I'm going to be watching him closely. Um, I think it's I think it's awesome. I predicted the Padres, and if that didn't work, I was going to say Mariners. If that didn't work, I was going to go Angels. They were the third team I think I had a chance over the Dodgers, uh, Giants, Cubs, and um, Rangers. But, I don't know. I kind of questioned this for Otani's side. I thought he'd go to a small market where he'd be the face of the team, and that'd be the Padres. Even Seattle would be interesting. But if he went to Seattle, the, the situation would kind of be similar. But maybe a little better for him. He might have got more money. He might have been able to contend. Not saying the Angels can't contend, but they're not exactly a playoff team. When you look at their pitching, like I said, I'm looking at a game right now, and they're not done, but... But just for instance, this is the rotation. I think the game sums up their overalls pretty well there in Otani. I don't know how he is pitching, though. But Richards is really their only good pitcher, and Otani could be e easily become the ace. I don't know what they're going to do. They could do a lot. It's interesting. Otani's going to be a guy to keep your eyes on. And, yeah, that's all I really have to say. I'm a little shocked he picked the Angels over the Padres and Mariners. Um, but, yeah, I'll talk about Giancarlo Stanton in the next video. I'm going to start recording that. That's where I end this, so I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this move, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.